Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now, back to the news. Rescue crews are engaged in a race against time as they continue their efforts to locate and rescue the Titan submersible, which went missing on Sunday with five people on board. To aid in the search, they will receive assistance from the highly advanced deep-sea craft, the Victor 6000 robot. This remarkable vessel, capable of reaching depths of 6,000 meters, 20,000 feet, is being hurried to the search site aboard the French research vessel L'Atalante, expected to arrive on Wednesday evening Eastern Time, just 12 hours before the submersible's oxygen supply is projected to run out on Thursday. With its bright yellow exterior and measuring 10 feet in length, the Victor 6000 is considered a flagship device for underwater operations by the French network BMTV. Given that the Titanic rests 12,500 feet beneath the ocean's surface, this cutting-edge craft is more than capable of reaching the wreckage. The rescue operation will see the Victor 6000 accompanied by the Horizon Arctic, a powerful tug and supply ship equipped with a large cable. The deep-sea craft will carry the cable down with it toward the Titanic wreck. Additionally, the Victor 6000 is equipped with a robotic arm that could be employed to dislodge the trapped submersible if it is found within the titanic wreckage. By attaching the cable from the Horizon Arctic to the vessel, the craft can help pull it to safety. However, it should be noted that Victor alone cannot lift the submarine on its own, as explained by Olivier Leffert from the French state-run Oceanic Research Institute. He mentioned that Victor is primarily equipped for visual exploration using its video equipment. The manipulating arms of the craft can assist in extricating the submersible by cutting cables or removing obstacles that may be hindering its movement on the ocean floor. Time is of the essence, and it is crucial for the surface crews already on site to locate the missing submersible before the arrival of the Victor 6000, Leffert revealed that the U.S. Navy reached out to request their help, and given their proximity to the search area, they could not refuse. The Victor 6000 is operated by a crew of 25 people on board its mothership, the Latalanti. All of them are racing towards the search site with hopes of achieving a miraculous rescue. Leffert emphasized that they can work non-stop for up to 72 hours without the need to stop at night, highlighting their dedication to the mission. Recent reports indicate that aircraft from the U.S. And Canadian Coast Guards have detected repetitive knocking, noises emanating from the depths in the vicinity where the surface crews lost contact with the Titan on Sunday. It is believed that these sounds could be coming from the stranded passengers, attempting to signal their presence by hammering on the hull of their submersible. As the race against time continues, the joint efforts of the rescue teams are focused on locating the missing submersible and ensuring the safety of its passengers. Stay tuned for further updates on this ongoing operation.